A few years ago, my friend, Dr. Mark Crawford, raised an astonishingly simple question at our annual couples planning retreat. Since that time, it has become a go-to question for me when coaching 1% couples. In fact, the question is so powerful that it doesn't just apply to marriage. It could be applied to any area where we desire to experience growth and improvement. So here's the question. If you knew how to make your marriage great, would you do it? Here it is again. If you knew how to make your marriage great, would you do it? As Mark explains, as much as we don't want to admit it, most of the time we come up short of our goals, not because of a lack of information, but because of a lack of action. Think about it. There is no deficiency of information or data on how to improve your marriage, your money, or your health. Instead, there seems to be a substantive shortage when it comes to initiative, when it comes to doing something wise and productive about the conditions we find to be disagreeable and unfulfilling. Rather than looking for what we think might be the easiest path or the magic pill, what if we just consistently did what we already know works? What about you? Are you good with things staying the same in your marriage for the rest of your life? Chances are you already know what you could and should do differently to make your marriage what God wants it to be, right? So what's the resistance? Is it fear? Is it laziness? Are you waiting for your spouse to go first? Or maybe your marriage just isn't a big priority at the moment. Whatever your reason for procrastinating, you can no longer plead ignorance to the causes, the consequences, or the solutions. Your success and happiness in the months and years ahead will be unduly influenced by how you answer Dr. Crawford's question. So here it is one more time. If you knew how to make your marriage great, would you do it? This is Tommy Newberry because mindset makes all the difference.